So I'm not even really sure how to start this video off. But like the title suggests, tattooing here as I know it is essentially over. Well, not over yet, but it has a deadline. It has a cut off point in the near-ish future where life here, tattooing here, is over. And it's heartbreaking in a lot of ways, but as I explain more here, here, I think you'll understand a little bit more of where I'm coming from. But as I reflect more and more on the whole process, the whole pro it is mind blowing. To ever say that you know, or you think you know what's gonna happen in life, or the way things are going to go, it's absolutely mind blowing. I thought my life was over after the Marine Corps. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. That was my identity, that was everything to me. And so I didn't really have a clue. I was losing it on a daily basis. And keeping myself together, <laughs> I don't even know how, it just was, she tried to keep a facade for the most part and um, you know those closest to me could see through that but I say that to say I thought that was it, I thought that was the worst it could get and it was, it was but nonetheless I got an opportunity, I was going to, going to school, um, got an opportunity to tattoo, I call it an opportunity but it opened my eyes to tattooing and um you know i realized real quickly i have videos talking about this stuff but i just want to recap it briefly here that uh <clears throat> i realized that I, I i needed to teach myself this process and so i did and i started sharing that here on youtube a few years ago and it was rudimentary i was still learning to line but if i learned something i shared something if i felt like i kind of knew something i shared something and um i look back on some of it and i go oh, i could have done that a lot better but it's all documented. It's really cool to go back and um, a little cringe worthy for me sometimes, but to go back and see where we started not that long ago and to dream of someday like having a place to tattoo. Like I was tattooing out of my kitchen at first, right? Not very long, but a few friends and family. Then I rearranged my loft and set that up and, you know, bought some equipment and really, you know, try to make it feel like home. You'll see that in a lot of the videos, earlier videos. And then, um, you know, I got the opportunity to move over to here and man, I just remember the move over here and, and it felt like <clears throat> the guys from Step Brothers where there's just so, so much room activities. for activities. So I felt there's just so much room for activities here. And, uh, and we've thrived here. It's been amazing. And um, hard work though, struggle, still have to work on building a clientele when you live in the middle of nowhere, which is again, not an easy thing to do, but we pushed on. And I find myself realizing that in the worst times, some of the best things can happen to you and change your life forever. It's changed my life forever. And in a lot of ways saved my life. It gave me purpose again. It gave me a drive. So yeah, I'm very grateful for everything here, and I will never stop tattooing. Um, <clears throat> but we've been here for a few years, and I'm ready to do it again. I'm ready to do something crazy, to reach out and touch something, to stretch a leg, to take a leap, whatever, and know that even if it's hard, <laughs> We're going somewhere, and we're only further along than we were the last time we made some crazy decisions, right? We are, as a family, me, my wife, and my kids, we're going to be going to Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Well, outside of San Antonio, but nonetheless, we went on vacation to visit my wife's family, my in-laws, and... Um, we fell in love with Texas. It was everything we wanted. It was everything we were looking for. And I really didn't catch it coming. I didn't see this coming. I wanted to be here. I have everything here. Why would I move? Well, it's time. It's time for the next step in my journey, in my process. I tell you all the time, you know, follow your journey. Do what you do. Everybody's specific to themselves and you have to trust yourself and follow yourself. And I've done just that. 
I've talked to plenty of people since being back, and the consensus is this is crazy. Or at least, you know, a little out there nonetheless. And I understand that. And I reflect and I say, you know what? Had I listened to every time somebody said something was crazy, I wouldn't be here right now, I can tell you that much. Starting a YouTube channel, stupid and crazy. Tattooing when I have plenty of education behind me to do anything I want to do, kind of crazy, okay? Working from home and doing this, even more crazy, you know what I mean? It's just, I thrive on the adventure. I thrive on the dig down and, and give it all you got. Now, it stinks because I built <clears throat> a wonderful clientele here. When I say a wonderful clientele, I mean I love my clients. I love them. We get to know each other. It's, it's, it, that will probably be one of the hardest things to deal with is saying goodbye to them because they put their trust in me even before there was proof, even before the work was good. Um, they trusted me and and they still do to this day and I, for that I will be saddened also I look around here and um, I mean I couldn't ask for a better place to tattoo and I love this place but um, I also know that if if I stay where I am forever I, I will never grow I am I love being in the middle of nowhere I really do it, it, it I'm secluded it's just me Dave tattooing by himself out here if you want to get tattooed by me you got to drive and come see me and it still blows my mind that people are willing to do that so I appreciate that as well but I have to stretch my legs I have to grow and sometimes to grow we have to take a step backwards so yes if I move to Texas will I have my own little studio here on the property no I will not that is not a thing so I'm giving that up Will I have to rent a booth somewhere? More than likely. Can I ever work for another person in my rest of my life? No, I cannot. I will be self-employed forever. So the only way I can go about working in a shop would be to own my own shop or to rent a booth from somebody. So yeah, just a little side note, if you're in the San Antonio, uh, Cibolo, New Brunfels area, and you got booth rentals and in the next nine months around I don't know August September time frame uh, let me know because I might be interested in renting a booth from you or the person you know so anyhow um, I don't know it's crazy but it's what I need to do I have this excitement and this fear and when you have both of those things together not all the time, <laughs> not all the time, but when you know it's right, you know it's it's right. And um, I know this is right. I need to be around more people. I need to uh, learn from other people. I need to get to know other tattoo artists and be in an area where, you know, that sort of thing can thrive a bit more. In the Marine Corps, I moved every two years for my entire adult life. So I'm moved back here and I've been here six years by the time I leave will be six years longest time I've ever been anywhere but I needed this I needed to get out of the military I needed to come here I needed to get my mind right I needed to get my family right I needed to fall in love with tattooing and uh, prepare myself and uh, I feel like that's what we've done and I feel like I am ready now um, which I never thought I'd say. I never thought I'd be able to say that. I never thought there would be something I'd be excited about like this. Um, and I am. And I still look at it and say, wow, that's crazy. Like, why, how do you make a decision like that? And, <laughs> like, I used to tell people in the Marine Corps all the time, if you know you got to do something, put your name on it and walk away. If you know that you need to go to this court, this class, this course, this whatever. When the list comes out, you put your name on it, you don't think about it. When it comes, then you think about it. That's kind of where I'm at right now, only I'm thinking about it a lot, which I need to now. Nonetheless, guys, I appreciate all the support you guys have shown over the years. I wouldn't be here, truly wouldn't be doing this. I don't even know if I would be tattooing today if it weren't for this YouTube channel. Because in the beginning, it is so hard to stay driven. Especially when you do a tattoo and you're like, I got this, and then you realize you don't got this, and then you think you do, and then you try something new, and 
I would have thrown in the towel, but I had this YouTube channel that had subscribers and they were like, hey, keep telling us what you know. And I'm thinking, well, if you only knew that I barely know anything, I'm just sharing every little thing I can and trying to explain what I barely understand. But I felt obligated to continue to do that. And because I was doing that, I needed a tattoo in order to continue doing that. They fed each other. And there was times when, <clears throat> you know, I didn't want a tattoo, but I, I, I wanted to make videos. And so I had to get better so I can make better videos. <laughs> and nowadays, I just want a tattoo. Like, I make videos to help people. I'm trying to get back to the core of why I started YouTube was to help people. You can get lost chasing views, chasing likes, chase. Well, why haven't everybody watched this video? Well, YouTube changes, people change, yada yada. I want to get back to helping people and just loving tattoos, making tattoos, bonding with that person who's there getting that tattoo. That's what I, that's what I genuinely miss. That's what I love. So that's what we're going to continue to do here. We're not going to worry about likes, views, none of that. All right. If you want to be here and hang out um, and share some stuff that, you know, go ahead. I'm going to do the same, but, um, that's where the channel's been moving and that's where we'll continue to move. I just want to have some community. Um, without the community I have on YouTube, tattoo wise, I would know nobody who tattoos. I would have like no friends t in the tattoo world, nobody to run things by, you know, I've made some great friends, you know, you guys know if you're in the live chat, if you're there on the regular, Hey, look, I consider you a friend. Um, so I will continue that, but nonetheless, guys, I'm excited for the new chapter. Um, I will keep you guys updated because again, we got till August 1st, end of July to, uh, you know, to get everything prepared to be out the door, you know, um, uh, we'll start turning August 1st. We're heading to Texas. That's the deal, yo. And, uh, we're going to figure it out when we get there because that's just the way it's going to go. So that's what I've been up to. I know I haven't been around lately. I know I haven't been uh, posting videos as much right now. And I guess that's because that's what's on my mind. I've come back home now. I'm back from vacation. I'm doing some tattooing again. And I have to prep. I'm just getting ready for the move. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. There's some things I got to get fixed up and sold. Uh, so I am a little bit more busy, but I can will continue to put out content. We'll continue to communicate. And if anything, guys, stay tuned for this year. It might be towards the end of the year, but we are going to be making a move. And I will absolutely bring you along with me. Uh, the background on Sundays, our background might change. It might be somewhere in my house, um, uh, the new house, or uh, could be in some shop somewhere, or a mixture of both. But it's kind of exciting in my in my mind, right? There's opportunity to expand, there's opportunity to grow, there's opportunity for me to meet more people who even want to get tattooed or I can help more people. There's there's more people in Texas and in that particular area, which means, you know, just in general. Here, there's less people, but it doesn't make it any worse here. I'm just ready for that new experience, guys. So I also don't really know what the rules or laws are in Texas for tattooing, how that goes, what's required. So if anybody wants to let me know in the comments, if you're from Texas, you lived there, you worked there, you tattooed there, whatever, any information you want to share, please let me know because it's best I know now. It's best I can, you know, maybe start to get some ducks in a row before that time comes. So yeah, if you want to help me out, leave that below. Again, our last tattoo will be about July 17th. If you're watching this and you're a customer here or a client of mine and you have work you need to get done, get in sooner than later. I'm going to try to get all existing work projects that we've been working on completed. And obviously, we'll be doing new projects and whatnot, things that we can get completed in the amount of time that we have. Guys, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, guys, support uh, your boy here as much as you can. I appreciate it so much guys until next time my friends peace